Alexis, thank you. Today we're joined by two women who are busy preparing for the Miss Wisconsin and Miss Wisconsin Teen Competition. Yes, Hallie Bender is Miss Madison. Natalie Pop is Miss Madison Teen. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yes. So how are you feeling heading into next week? Just, it's such a whirlwind. We've yeah. been preparing for this for about six months now, so we're ready to just get all of our training out there and ready to hit the stage. Yeah. I'm Help. so excited to see the girls again and be able to um, c compete alongside them and seeing, see my big sister compete on Wednesday and Thursday. Ready for it, yeah. yes. Hallie, what does it mean to you to be crowned Miss Madison? So I actually didn't know this until a bit ago, but I am the first Miss Madison that is a Madison native. So it's been great oh. to get out into the community and make that impact and represent Madison on the state stage. A city you love, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And Natalie, for you, Miss Madison teen, having that title, how does it feel? It's been amazing to be able to serve my hometown as Miss Madison's teen and do appearances that give back to the community and make an impact. Well, it's incredible watching you guys. Let's talk about what got you those titles. Let's talk about your community service initiatives. For sure. So my community service initiative is entitled Bringing Dignity to Dementia. So I just advocate for dementia awareness and some other things related to that. My grandmother passed of dementia last year, so being able to do this for her is really special. And how about you? My community service initiative is called Teens for Heroes, which is about thinking and supporting our active military veterans and educating teens about the importance of it. And I've done all sorts of things like care package drives and writing thank you notes to veterans and getting teens involved with showing their appreciation. Incredibly wow. important causes. Yes. I know talent is also a big yeah. part of this competition. Walk us through what you each have planned. Sure, I'm doing a tap routine to Bills by Lunch Money Lewis. So it's a fun, upbeat um, tap routine and I'm really excited. So my talent is a vocal piece to the song Journey to the Past from Anastasia, and I've loved to sing since I could remember and to be able to be on the stage and talk about um, fi finding out your dreams and reaching towards them through the song. I'm very excited to show the judges. I love that. It's got to take a lot of work to, <laughs> to get ready for that. Yeah. Just, you know, you said six months of work, but I'm sure it, some of the, you know, you've been honing these talents for your life. Um, what are you hoping to bring to the competition individually and then take away from it? Sure, so this is my first year competing, so I'm really just competing with myself at this point, seeing how well I can prepare and seeing how well I can perform on the stage. I really just want to make my friends and family proud of they've been the ones to really support me throughout this journey, and I can't wait to see what experiences I do get out of next week. This is actually my second time competing, so I know how exciting and fun it is during the week, so I'm really looking forward to that, and also being able to represent my hometown and make sure that I'm doing a duty and doing my best I can on stage. Yeah. What made the two of you want to take part in pageants? I graduated from college last year and I was really involved in my college community so I knew that I wanted to embody that same practice even after graduation and really push forward that personal better betterment and just gain those life skills that will carry on. So in 2021, I sing the national anthem in a Massa Mallards game, and there I met Grace Stanky, who went on to yes. win Miss America. And she encouraged me to um, join the Miss America organization for the interview skills. And after competing last year, I realized that I want to continue competing in the organization because I think there's so much more for me to learn, whether it's confidence or people skills, and I've truly really grown so much from it. Oh, absolutely, and you guys are incredible. Talk about your interview <laughs> skills. <I> mean, <laughs> you might be taking your jobs here <laughs> in, in just a little bit. But thank you so much, and best of luck. And we'll be watching, and we can't wait to see how it goes for you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah, so Hallie and Natalie are heading to Oshkosh on June 17th. We'll be following them for sure.